Welcome to another edition of the Market Opening Gong, where we give you updates from the Nigerian capital market. This edition captures the market performance for Tuesday, May 5th, 2020. From the Nigerian Stock Exchange, the All Share Index closed at 23,809.31 basis points with a market capitalization of 12.408 trillion naira in 4,689 deals, meaning it's appreciated by 3.12%. The equities market continued the week on a positive note as investors gained 374.94 billion naira. At the close of trading, market recorded 29 gainers to 7 losers. The top three gainers for equity were Dangote Cement, Nemet International Pharmaceuticals and Prestige Assurance, while May and Baker Nigeria, NPF Microfinance Bank and Linkage Assurance were among the top losers. Guarantee, Mutual Benefits Assurance and Zenith Bank were the top players in terms of trade volumes and most active to boost market turnover. Looking at the FMBQ OTC exchange, the debt market size closed at 28.75 trillion naira. The NAFEX rate closed at 387 naira 35 kobo to a dollar, while the I and E FX rate opened at 384 naira 83 kobo to a dollar and closed at 385 naira 40 kobo to a dollar. For the NASD OTC market, the NSI closed at 700.35 basis points with a market capitalization of 514.46 billion. The volume traded was 6,000 and 78,000 in terms of value traded in one deal executed for the day. You can also check for updates on the impact of COVID-19 on markets and the economy on the Corona Watch Central dashboard showing on the screen. For the highlights from yesterday, according to ProShare Research, the drop in the price of crude oil at the international market occasioned by the coronavirus, driven demand disruption, excess supply and historic volatility due to the storage concerns is currently taking its toes on the oil companies around the globe. The Brent crude, which trades at $27.96, has so far negative 57.67% YTD from the price of $66 at the beginning of the year. A performance review of the stocks listed in the sector on the Nigerian Stock Exchange reflected that it has been bearish so far in the year with one gainer to seven losers. A review of the NSC Oil and Gas Index revealed that it has so far dropped by 19.83% YTD as against minus 13.98% YTD loss recorded by the NSC ASI. This suggested the NSC oil and gas index has so far underperformed the NSC ASI in year 2020 as at May 4th. For the key market and economic events to watch, the economy and politics coronomics discourse on web TV will focus on post-COVID-19, business sustainability and economic stability in Nigeria with Mr. Ayuli Jemide, lead partner detail solicitors by 9 a.m. Also, the market review program will feature Mr. Michael Abayomi Osho, GMD CEO Asset and Equity Group, that will discuss COVID-19, increasing the space for private capital investments into Nigeria from 10 a.m. To discuss the legal, leadership, regulatory, financing, and digital measures businesses need to incorporate at this time, the Convention on Business Integrity under its MSME standards project and in partnership with ProShare and DHQ Law will host the MSME conversation series with the team Crisis Response for MSMEs on Web TV Live by 11.30 a.m. The panelists for the webinar are Soji Apampa, CEO CBI Nigeria, Tosin Ajose, Lead Advisor DHQ, Esiri Agbei, Partner PwC Nigeria, Inkem Dilimbego, MD FutureSoft, and Ayo Bankole, Strategy Expert and Convener Lagos SME Bootcamp as moderator. And that will be all for this edition of the Market Opening Gong. Visit www.prosharenj.com to get more updates from our news stories and videos. Connect with us on our social media platforms displaying on the screen for further updates on our market reports and to watch a live stream of the weekday Corona Watch program. 
The Persia mobile app is also available on Apple Store and Play Store on your mobile device, which allows you to customize your preferred news and videos. Till we come your way again, thank you for watching and do stay safe.